Neo, Neo, Neo. This is a company that I've looked at a few times, but there was a lot of hype around it at the time that I was looking at it. It seems to have died down a little bit, but you never know. There is some kind of Neo fanboys out there who might take offense to this video if I don't say Neo is the best company since sliced bread. Today we're going to be having a look at Neo, and in this video I'm just going to kind of give an overview about what the company does. So the products it offers, the services it offers, just so if you have never heard about it, you have an idea of what they do. In my next video, I will have a look at the financial side of, of Neo, so you have a kind of complete picture of the company. This is their website, and if you have never heard of Neo before, they are an electric vehicle manufacturer. They specialize in SUVs, so kind of bigger vehicles for transporting people. Suffering through this website, you can actually kind of see that the cars are quite pretty. They have a variety of different cars that they offer, and if you actually go through it, they are supposed to be kind of coming across as luxury. I don't know if cars is the politically correct term for these. I think they, yeah, they just kind of want to be called electric vehicles. Neo also has power solutions for your electric vehicle to make it a little bit easier in terms of infrastructure if you need your vehicles charged, whether that be at your own house or on the road. If you do have an electric vehicle, it is pretty essential to have some form of charging station at your house and Neo offers that. But not only that, this is actually quite a smart idea and I like it. They have this Neo power swap where you can drive somewhere and you can switch out the battery in your electric vehicle for a fully charged one, which is really, really clever. So rather than having to plug your vehicle in, wait till it charges, you just swap out the battery and then you're good to go. Now you do have different power stations kind of laid out throughout the world where you can charge your electric vehicle and these are becoming a lot more common. But if that doesn't work, another really smart idea is this kind of power mobile where you have a vehicle come out and charge your vehicle for you. Then you have Neo House and Neo Life, but this isn't necessarily a product or one product. It's more about building the culture around Neo. Culture or cult following. I use that kind of word loosely, but it's really just trying to build a brand. Selling vehicles is a highly competitive market. And Neo is what I would say, I, I don't know if people are going to hate me for this comparison. It really is the Tesla of China. And it's trying to get a foothold in a market that I see in the future becoming very big and for the fact that they're focusing on building a brand and building a following is a good sign because they will most likely need it. The electric vehicle market at some point will pretty much become an arms race with governments adopting a more kind of pressured approach when it comes to global warming and environmental issues. Which, if you're an investor now, you see electric vehicles as the future, so you invest in electric vehicle companies. Which is, I get that point, and I understand it. But the problem is that electric vehicles, or smart electric vehicles, are quite easily replicated. I'm not saying it's easy to make them, I'm just saying that at some point, every single vehicle manufacturer is going to be an electric vehicle manufacturer. And then it won't really matter who the early adopter was, it will matter who makes the best ones. It's like an arms race. It doesn't matter if someone builds the best handheld rifle, if someone else builds a nuclear bomb. Unless you're in a gunfight. Then I don't really know how much help a, gun, a nuclear bomb is going to be in a gunfight. You never know, you could maybe just hide behind it. But I'm getting off point. In terms of electric vehicles, it's an industry that, although it's still very young, at some point it will start to mature and there will be more competition. And then the people who will make money in electric vehicles will be the ones that produce the best batteries, the smartest computers, or have the best branding. So yeah, in terms of the business idea behind Neo, I actually really like it. My main kind of problem with it is that it is 
going to be met with a lot of competition in the future and if it cannot build a good or strong following and actually the purchase of the vehicles rather than the purchase of the stock then it's going to have problems but bear in mind i can get things wrong and there may have been points that i have missed if i have then let me know in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching if you are interested in the financial side of neo i will be releasing that video tomorrow same time this video comes out just one day later so consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time